Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the nomenclature of quarter tones, that is, the language we'll be using to talk about them moving forward. Now fortunately, I actually think it's pretty intuitive, especially comparative to other microtonal systems, but we should talk about it because it's going to let us much more easily talk about more complicated ideas down the line. So we're going to introduce four new accidentals. The first two are the half sharp and the half flat. A half sharp raises a note by one quarter tone. So the note one quarter tone above C is a C half sharp. Similarly, a half flat lowers a note by one quarter tone. So the note one quarter tone below E would be E half flat. I've seen a few different names for these accidental splitting around. I've chosen these because I think they're the clearest and give the most intuitive idea of what's going on. And we do have two more accidentals to talk about, the three-halves sharp and the three-halves flat. A three-halves sharp raises a note by a semitone plus a quarter tone. So to get to F three-halves sharp, we start from an F, raise it a semitone to get to F sharp, and then raise it an additional quarter tone to get to F three-halves sharp. Similarly, a three-halves flat takes a note and lowers it by a semitone plus a quarter tone. So to get to a B three-halves flat, we start from a B, go down a semitone to B flat, and then lower it another quarter tone to get to B three-halves flat. Now, just like in the 12-tone system, the quarter tone system gives us enharmonic notes, that is, notes that have different names but that still sound the same. But be careful because they're not the ones you might expect. So in the 12-tone system, you may be familiar with the fact that, for example, D sharp, and E flat are the same note. So you might think that D half sharp and E half flat are the same note, but if you play them together, you'll see that they're actually a full semitone apart. The actual enharmonic notes are going to be either a half flat and a three half sharp, or a half sharp and a three half flat. For example, a D half sharp is the same as an E three halves flat. Similarly, an E half flat is the same as a D three halves sharp. Which one should you use? It's sort of up to you. I kind of like using the simpler ones if I'm in a vacuum, but in the context of a larger piece of music, it's going to depend on the context. Of course, that context is going to depend on the intervals you're talking about. And that's the topic of our next video. Stay tuned.